Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube NFL prediction segment, I'm going to be giving you my 2019 uh, week three uh, NFL uh, picks and analysis. So in the first game, well, let's we'll start off, of course, with a Thursday night game, the thriller with uh, Tennessee away uh, on the road against Jacksonville. I'm going to take the Titans in this one. Uh, on the road to prevail. They've won six of seven versus the Jags. They've dominated the series. Tennessee's an enigmatic team. They seem to play well against the teams you think they should lose to, and then they, they lose to the teams that it seems like they should beat. Jacksonville, um, without their uh, Nick Foles, I don't think he's going to be playing, and then quarter cornerback uh, Ramsey, I don't know what's going on with him. The team seems to be in a little bit disarray right now. They just salvaged one touchdown. Uh, I mean, they saw, as far as touchdowns go, they only had one last week, and that was at the end of the game. I think the Titans can keep the offense of the Jags in check. I'm going to take the Titans in this one. Now, the next game, I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills at home against the Cincinnati Bengals. The Buffalo right now seems like they're making some strides. They've won uh, six of their last nine games dating back to last season. They, they've actually started out 2-0 the season. Cincinnati, on the other hand, they've started out 0-2. They're amassing a lot of yards, but they just can't seem to get the points to win. They, they've uh, score. They've put up nearly 750 uh, yards of offense in their first two games, but they've allowed nine sacks in those first two games. I think Buffalo's going to be able to get to quarterback Andy Dalton early often enough, and I think that could very well make the difference in this game. I do like the way Buffalo's been playing. I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills at home in this one. Now the next game doesn't really need an overabundance of analysis. I'm going to take Dallas at home over the Miami Dolphins. You've got virtually one of the best teams in the NFL, I believe, right now going against one of the more abysmal ones. Miami can arguably be the worst team in the NFL right now. Dallas is 8-1 and at home since last season. They're one of the better rushing offenses right now. Dak Prescott has been phenomenal. He's completed 82.3% uh, of his passes right now. Miami is dead last in total offense. They cannot score for anything right now. They've allowed 51 points per game. They're minus six in turnover differential. Their run defense is a poor. The run defense is dead last right now. Um, and they've also committed seven turnovers. They are a team right now that is, I mean, you talk about disarray. It's like they're just playing for next season. I just don't really see how Miami can go in there into Dallas and really do anything that productive. I think Dallas wins this one very decisively. It might be a blowout. I'm taking Dallas at home. Next game, I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers at home over the Denver Broncos. I mean, it's hard pressed to say this, but the uh, the defense in, uh, for Green Bay has been stellar right now. They've only allowed 9.5 points per game. Number 13, like total defense, but the scoring is the main thing. Uh, they are 2 0 right now. Denver right now is struggling like there is no tomorrow. They've lost six consecutive games dating back to last season. They've only scored 15 points this season. I don't know what's going on with quarterback Joe Flacco. They're going to need a lot more than him and Von Miller to do anything in this game. Denver lost a game last week. I think they should have uh, actually won. There was some controversy at the end of the game where their penalty should have been called on Chicago or not, but I thought they had the components to get the job done against a Chicago team that really has struggled on offense. Uh, this game, I don't see how they're going to be able to go into Green Bay and win this one. Uh, Green Bay's defense is playing too well. I'm going to take the Packers at home. Now, the next game, I'm going to take the Indianapolis Colts to win at home over the Atlanta Falcons. Both teams, I mean, right now are, are sitting um, one and one. But Indy, to me, I mean, being at home right now with their, their quarterback set and their running back, I think it's going to make the difference in this game. Atlanta right now, uh, Matt Ryan just doesn't seem himself. He's thrown five interceptions already in the first two games. Julio Jones really going to have to have a monster game in order for them to have any opportunity to win. But I like what Indianapolis has actually uh, done. They played a Titans team, a very good Titans team, uh, last week on the road. They should have. Uh, they got the job done. Uh, they I felt like the Titans were the better team uh, with no Andrew Luck, but they still found a way to prevail and win. So I'm going to take the Colts in this game uh, to win over the Falcons. 
Now the next game, I'm going to take the Kansas City Chiefs at home uh, to win over the Baltimore uh, Ravens. Kansas City, there's just not enough superlatives to describe this team. They have over 800 passing yards right now. Uh, they are, I mean, they're 13 and three at home in the last 16 games. They've uh, allowed, after allowing 10 points early against the Raiders last week, they shut them out the rest of the game. Now, I don't know if they're going to do that against Baltimore. Baltimore does have that ravenous defense. They have played very well uh, right now. I mean, they're, both teams are 2-0. Uh, the Ravens have averaged 41 points per game, but they, they really, uh, they look basically, I mean, against uh, last week, uh, the offense was not as good as it was, obviously, in week one. I think the offense is still going to be adequate in this game, but it's not going to be enough to win. They're number one in total offense right now, but I think the Chiefs are still have too many weapons. They're going to put more points on the board than Baltimore. I like the Chiefs to win at home. Now the next game, I'm going to take the Minnesota Vikings to win at home over Oakland. Uh, I think right now, I mean, Oakland simply has plummeted to earth. Uh, they they seem to have a little, uh, their pass rush seems to be improved over what it was last season. They got five defensive sacks right now. But I think right now, Minnesota in their running game is going to be too much for Oakland to handle. And I just don't know if I trust the Oakland Raiders offense enough to keep up with the Vikings. I think when you're talking about Stefan Diggs and company, I think they're going to um, be, uh, they're going to be playing very well on the offensive and in better than they did against Green Bay. I mean, Minnesota at home, obviously, like most teams, is going to be a vastly different team at home in contrast to on the road. So I'm going to go with the Vikings to win this one at home. Now, this next game, I mean, really doesn't need a surfight or overabundance of analysis. You're talking about the New England Patriots at home against the lamentable Jets. I hate to say that the Jets are one of my teams. I feel terrible for them right now. I'm going to feel even worse about them after this game because New England right now is playing at such a phenomenal level. They look everything but invincible at this point of the season. And the thing about New England is you're talking about all the accolades the offense is receiving and Tom Brady and their receivers and Edelman and this and that. They are allowing 1.5 points per game right now. New England was a flawless 8-0 at home last season. They, they defeated Pittsburgh. They annihilated Pittsburgh at home. They went into Miami and shut Miami down. They're not. I don't see them having much difficulty against this New York Jets team. That is, uh, right now they're down to their, I believe they're down to the third string quarterback. I don't know what's going on with Levine Bell. This team is ravaged with injuries. They only mustered three points against the Cleveland Browns last week. This is just the team right now that they just, um, the Jets again, not to be redundant with the word disarray, but this is a team right now that that word really fits them uh, at this point in time. It looks like the New York Jets are just really, they're so far, um, it's such a dis different as far as the disparity in talent level between the Patriots and Jets. It's not even funny uh, at this point. New England has dominated the Jets in recent time. They will win this game uh, at home. I don't see New England losing to the Jets uh, in this one. The Jets now have to go on the road again after only scoring three points at home against the Browns. Can they really be expected to do much better against this, this really uh, this seemingly everything but flawless New England team right now. I don't see it happening. I like New England at home. Next game. I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles at home to win over the Detroit Lions. Philadelphia is not, I don't think they're the same team they had when they won the Super Bowl a couple seasons ago, but they are a very solid home team. They know how to dominate time of possession. They're number three in time of possession right now. Detroit Lions are 3-5-1 and one in the last eight on the road. They have lost like five, I believe five of six of the last six games at Philadelphia. I expect this trend to continue. I like the Eagles 
Carson wants to get this job done at home against the Lions. The Lions just really, their offense really looked putrid the last really uh, the last week. It looked like it couldn't really do a whole lot. I mean, but they still, they may have gotten the win, but they still did struggle to generate uh, points. And I don't know if they're going to be able to do much better against the Eagles defense. So I'm going to take the Eagles to win at home. Hold on a moment, people. Well, the next game, I'm going to take the Arizona Cardinals to beat the Carolina Panthers. Um, I expect Arizona's red zone offense to be improved. They actually were very competitive against the Baltimore Ravens last week, and the Ravens might arguably be one of the best NFL teams right now. And um, Carolina, I mean, right now they've lost 9 of 10 games dating back to last season, 2-6 uh, and six on the road and in 2018. They lost their first two games this season, both at home. Can they be anticipated to do much better on the road? Now, one could argue and, uh, and say, well, Carolina is going to be very desperate because of what's happened in the first two games. They don't want to start 0-3, but I think it could very well happen in this one. I am going to take Arizona. Like Larry Fitzgerald, he might be an older veteran right now but he has played uh, really well and I think it's going to continue I think he'll be the, the um, receivers are going to get they're going to play well enough to combat uh, the uh, Carolina secondary and I think that's going to be the main could be the main difference in this game I'm going to take Arizona at home now the next game, I'm going to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win at home over the New York Giants. Uh, Tampa Bay right now, they have some swagger after beating Carolina. Uh, Shaquille uh, Barrett right now has four, four sacks, one of the leaders in the NFL in sacks. And you look at the Giants right now, another team in disarray. They're on a reclamation project, it looks like to me. It could very well be a long season for them. They're only averaging 15 and a half points per game. Their offense this season looks worse, actually, than it did last season. One of their few bright sparks is, uh, is Barkley, their running back, but he's not going to be able to do it by himself. I could see another game where he may get like over 100 yards rushing, but they're still going to find a way to lose because they're passing. I mean, right now it just seems to be enough. They can't seem to get the points when they actually need them, even if they amass a lot of yards. Uh, they're going to have to do better when they get in that red zone area and try to get in the red zone area a little bit more often. going to be very hard. I like Tampa Bay at home. Next game, I like the Chargers at home to win over the Houston Texans. Chargers right now, they did not look good last week. I think the offense can only be held in check uh, for so long. I expect them to break out in this game and put up a per, really a prodigious amount of points in this one. Uh, more likely than not, I think they can get 30 points. I don't trust Houston to get that many. Houston right now has allowed 10 sacks. I think the Chargers are going to be able to get to the Houston uh, quarterback in this one. Uh, Houston only managed 12, uh, really, uh, they, they only managed uh, not many points against the Jags last week. I think like 13 points against the Jaguars. And uh, if you, you can't score that many against the Jaguars, how are you going to put those amount of points up against the Chargers? I like the Chargers and Phil Rivers and company to get the job done in this one. Well, next game, I'm going to take the San Francisco 49ers to win at home over the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's hard for me to, to believe I'm saying this right now. It's astonishing because uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers were once, I mean, this perennial contender, and it seems like the mighty have fallen just so quickly. Uh, Pittsburgh right now, I mean, without the services of Ben Roethlisberger, they've started out 0-2. They lost to Seattle last week. San Francisco right now is averaging around 36 points per game. They have, I mean, they are... Uh, they had 572 total yards of offense last week. They're going to be at home. Pittsburgh right now is reeling. They're trying to get back in business. I don't think they can get it done. I don't think it's going to start uh, this week. 49ers right now are playing with a lot of confidence, and I think it's going to continue. I like the 49ers to win at home. Now the next game, I'm going to take Seattle at home over the Saints. As many of you may know, the Saints, I mean, they lost quarterback Drew Brees likely six weeks. Uh, Seattle right now is averaging 24 and a half points per game. Uh, I like what Russell Wilson is doing, their quarterback. I think he, he completed like 29 of 35 passes last week. I believe it was the best completion percentage uh, 
in any single game in his career. The Saints right now are just not the same team that they have in the past. Their defense has been abhorrent. I mean, I don't, I just don't trust their defense in this game. I think Seattle is going to have their way on their offense, and I don't like the Saints on their defense. So that's basically why I'm going to take the um the, the Seattle to win at home. DK Metcalf has been a super, really good surprise, I believe, for this team. I think he's going to have a good game, the receiver, and I do like them to I like the receivers against the uh, New Orleans secondary. I'm going to take Seattle at home. Well, next, I'm going to take the Rams to win on the road against the Cleveland Browns. Um, this is going to be a tough game because Cleveland, uh, they look like they showed what they were made of last week, but at the same time, they did do it against a Jets team that just really looks anemic on both sides of the ball. Uh, I don't think they're going to be able to duplicate that against the Rams this week. I like what the Rams defense did last week against the Saints. Aaron Donald, Corey Littleton are just very, are just awesome. They defend, you know, as far as defense goes, Corey Littleton is actually one of the leaders in the NFL in tackles. But at the same time, Cleveland Browns do have a very, they seem to have, their offense is starting to look a little more cohesive right now, and they're playing better together. They are at home, but I still like the Rams to win this one in close one. I think their defense is going to be uh, the difference in this one. It's going to be a little bit better than Cleveland Browns' offense, so I'm going to take the Rams to win on the road in a tough matchup. Last but not least, I'm going to take the Redskins to win at home over the Chicago Bears. I think Redskins got to get their uh, first win sooner uh, than later. Uh, Chicago right now, it seems like they were maybe overhyped, a little overrated. That'd probably be a vast understatement. The Chicago Bears barely pulled a win out against Denver last week in Washington. I mean, they did not look terrible against the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys really might be one of those upper echelon elite teams right now. Washington being at home, I think Chicago, I mean, they struggled against Denver. I think Washington should be able to beat uh, the Bears, the Bears team that is really struggling on the offensive end and trying to find an identity offensively. So I'm going to take the Redskins to win this one at home in a close one. Anyway, people that will conclude this YouTube NFL prediction segment. Until next time, people stay well.